Welcome to Dragon Ball Madness. I am your host, the Shady Champ, and today we've got the Justice Troop versus the villains in the first round in our fourth fight of Dragon Ball Madness. And if every TV show ever is to be believed, the Justice will reign out on top against the villains. But... Dragon Ball Madness, anything can happen. Oh, you might die this time. And Great Saiyan Man gets caught in it. The hero is looking a lot like a civilian right now. I'm not going to lie to you. A super explosive wave, but it was too far away. They're at the zoning area. Oof! No, Great Saiyan Man is getting outplayed on every front right now. I don't know how he's going to get back from this. Frieza is taking a demanding and rather impressive lead. Frieza is charging. Oof, Gohan tried to get a pose off. Gohan, who's Gohan? Great Saiyan Man tried to get a pose off, and unfortunately, it did not work out. Freezes that max power. Freezer decides to do his super move and destroy the planet. Great Saiyan Man avoids getting paralyzed, but unfortunately. The super explosive wave. Now, this is the distance that it should work at. Oh no, no, Great Saiyan Man does not avoid anything this time. The Saiyan Man is gonna have to say Sayonara at this rate. Another You Might Die this time? And Great Saiyan Man gets caught in it again? I may not be, I may be an optimist, but at that point, you may have to wrap things up by this point. Oh, a Justice Slash, and Frieza dodges it. Frieza has no intention on letting the same man cook today. Whoa. Same man is fighting his hardest, but... Uh, I may have asked for Videl, but it seems I gotta say a woman in their place. An impressive physical assault by the Saiyan Woman. I think Saiyan Woman might be the one to make the difference in this fight, especially considering how much of a lead Frieza has right now. And if everything Frieza's doing is failing against the Saiyan Woman, and everything the Saiyan Woman's doing is working, amen. Just keep it up. Whoa, what's going on here? It's golden time. Can say a woman withstand that? I I guess so. Let's go say a woman. Barely as much as a scratch on her. Oh. Frieza grabs her out of the dash attack. Now Frieza's gotten as powerful as ever. The death raid. Ooh, this may be the difference. This may turn the tide back into the villains' favor. Oh? What is this? Mm, another dash attack. This might be it for Frieza. It is. Now it's time for Cell to be the one to face the Sail Woman. But at the rate that the Sail Woman's going. Everybody may have to have a turn with the Saiyan woman. Oh. No. Another death beam barrage. Yikes. The 
Tay Woman tries to charge up for her ultimate attack, but Cell is not letting that slide. In this is transmission. Cell is not done yet. But unfortunately, ooh, Cell put the Sail Woman right where she wanted him, up close and personal. Big combos from Cell, I will have to admit this. Sail Woman can't seem to close that divide. A new, a new health gap has happened. But, oh, oh. Sail Woman's got as strong as she'll get. Will it matter? Mmm, instant transmission had her looking goofy. So Steve's up behind her. One attack should do it for it. Ooh, say a woman let the time run out. Wait. Oh. Mmm. Yep. Say a woman gave it all that she had, and she gave an impressive amount. This is about the average amount that you should really expect the character to do, right? Four bars, maybe five? You can't get too mad about that. Now Gotenks, the Grim Reaper of Justice, is the one that's gonna have to fight Cell and put the team a little more on his back than usual. Great Sandman's uh, disappointing performance really cost the Justice Troop a lot in this fight. Oof, oof, whoa, whoa, ah. We, I was monologuing for sure, but we definitely have to talk about how Gotenks and Cell are having an impressive, impressive back and forth between each other. Neither is giving the other an inch and ooh, blocking their strongest blows in preference for their own. You don't see too many like that. Oh, a death beam barrage. Looks like being a fusion isn't all that it takes to defeat the villains. And now Gotenks and Cell are at the same level of... Ooh! Gotenks ready to end it, but Cell leaves in favor of Omega Shenron. Oh, a gigantic blaze. Gotenks needs to get out of there. He doesn't get out of there in time. He gets blown up instead. This is a really, really bad situation for Gotenks to be in, especially with an opponent as powerful as Omega Shenron. Another gigantic blaze at point blank. Gotenks can't get out of that, and so he falls instead. Ooh, Omega Shenron is a heavy hitter for the villains. And unfortunately, the Justice Troop is not being able to take advantage of all this. Dodging a power impact, Jiren may have his work cut out for him. Whoa. Okay, okay. This is an impressive display, for sure. Can't let Omega Shinron charge up to his full power. He's already doing devastating combos as is. You get him to full power, you may have to say goodbye to your character. A Dragon Thunder! Oh, Jiren is not gonna be able to walk easily after this one. A shocking turn of events, although I guess not really in the grand scheme of this fight. A gigantic blaze, Jiren has to get out of there, and get out of there he does. Now he goes after Omega Shinron, and oof. Omega Shinron is excelling at this long distance neutral. And when they're in close quarters, it's a back and forth. This may just actually be in Omega Shinron's favor, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oof. Uh, you can't get hit like that. You just can't get hit like that. Big combos. Big combos by Jiren. Whoa. Blocking the throw. That is a very good move to use. Oh. Power impact. Omega Shinron was point blank. He's going to get hit by that.
Now unfortunately, Master Roshi's house has been incredibly destroyed beyond repair, so if you could donate to some whatever cause, I'm sure he'll set up a GoFundMe soon, but what is this? Oh! His ultimate attack! Jiren wants to put Omega Shinran away for good! Jiren has stood up in order to be the difference maker for the Justice Troop. Jiren has declared that he and Toppo will be the one to put the villains at rest. And they are not just words. Jiren is now putting work in on Omega Shinron, dodging every move Omega tries to make. Now this is the kind of turnaround I do like to see. I will not lie to you, dear viewer. Powering up, Omega Shinron powered up to his final, his full power. Oh no. Jiren's gonna need to end this fast. Oh, a gigantic blaze. Jiren, you have to get out of there. But he gets hit by a stray key blast and has to take all the hits. Now he and Omega Shinron have equal amounts of health or some kind of close to it. But unfortunately, when you take into the account that there are two other fighters in the villain's team with perfect health and a perfect cell lying in wait, you really can't just take Omega Shinron doing that to you. And Omega Shinron hits Jiren out of his finishing move. This may be the collapse of justice as we know it. Big punch, big punch, another big punch. Okay, okay, oof. No, oh, two, three. A gigantic blaze on Jiren, and Jiren is just way too close. He gets hit by it. Only The only person who has fallen so far is Final Form Frieza in this fight. It's not looking good for Taupo. Omega switches out, puts in Goku Black. Gets hit by a super black Kamehameha. Justice Tornado. Hey, you got me there. But Jiren is Topo is gonna have to pull out a miracle if he wants to be able to win this. And I don't know if he's got a miracle in it. Ooh. Goku Black is giving Tapo the beats right now. I cannot lie to you, chat. A Justice Flash. It's not enough, but it's something. Unfortunately, ooh, Tapo expertly dodges a move that Goku Black was going to use to try and finish him. This may be something. But if Tapo doesn't capitalize off having full power, I don't think he's gonna win. A Justice Tornado, not the best choice, but it is a good devastating choice. Oof, Tapo tries to do a, wait, okay, Tapo tries to do a pose. Goku Black is being relentless. A Super Black Kamehameha at point blank, Tapo takes it, unfortunately. It's looking like a wrap for the Justice Tree. Wait. What is this? Is this the miracle that we could have been asking for? Tapo has entered the God of Destruction phase. He sought power and abandoned justice, but could this be what the Justice Troop needs in order to win? Oof. Hakai. What's, what is this? Ooh, it, it was not, it was not the difference maker. It was not the difference maker, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, okay. Topple's working and getting things back in focus. And he at least defeat Goku Black, that's all we ask. 
This is too, this is so much of a commanding display of power by the villains. The good guys have been losing at every twist and turn so far. Goku gets the full power, so does Tapo. Big clash of powers, and Goku Black takes the win, defeating Tapo, who abandoned his justice for nothing. Now, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the video. And if you want this same kind of adrenaline rush, then come back same time tomorrow for the next match of this phenomenal tournament.